is kind of the debate that goes on uh, about web mobile first, web second. Um, and this is a, a sort of a question that, you know, mobile is, I think last year was the first year that mobile overtook web. In other words, there were more units sold between phones and tablets than there were in terms of laptops and desktops. So there are now, you know, there are obviously legacy PCs out there so that the, the number hasn't come across. Uh, and also in the developing world in Africa, you know, there is only mobile. Like web is, you know, like seeing people smoking on TV or something. It's, it's something that goes back. So this is Fred Wilson, who's a very famous venture capitalist, and he talked about the idea of mobile first and web second. In other words, that you should just not have a web version. You know, that you should, you should optimize and design for web, for mobile, and just do mobile. Uh, I know we're in an app challenge, so it's, it's, but it's an interesting question that, you know, a lot of VCs, I've spoken with VCs, for instance, when we showed them hot, hot hotels, and they've said to us, well, you're not going to do a web version. Well, that's crazy, you know? And, uh, you know, obviously, we, that conversation finished pretty much immediately from that point on. But we were sort of saying to them that you know, we think that the mobile experience is so different that we just want to, want to capture that. So what you're starting to see is, um, for instance, I use Airbnb a lot. And I find that the app experience is superior to the web experience. Is that the case for anybody else here, that the app is a better experience than the web experience? You know, I'm looking at like HTML5 guy and, you know, but. But in the, in the, in the web, there are more CPU, there are more RAM, and people have more functionality. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, that. but what do you what do you really want? You know, I mean, you find yourself doing the same things all the time. You know, and the thing about uh, you know to book a hotel on on hot hotels, you know, you really need like three swipes and a click, you know, and done. Now you go onto Booking.com, which was originally created as a web environment, and it can take you fifty, including typing in your name which if you're from Armenia or Sri Lanka, can be extremely complicated. Uh, if you're from Somalia, where you only have one name, actually that can be complicated for a whole other reason. And if you're from Spain, where you have like your mother's name and your father's name, and sometimes you don't use them, and then you put down misses, and it, you know, you have all that sort of stuff going on. Whereas with an app, you can have a lot of that preloaded, and it just takes care of it. So. The other thing is what's known as the paradox of choice, which is that, you know, <laughs> a lot of business people aren't aware of what it's like to develop. And they still draw pretty pictures and say, go build that. And you end up creating all this functionality so that it looks good on launch day. Uh, Whereas actually the restrictiveness of the app is a really useful thing in terms of, you know, it stops people from going crazy. Uh, and it really makes you sit down and focus on what you actually are trying to do. Uh, so from that point of view, uh, it's extremely useful. And in most cases, uh, most successful apps really just do one thing. I mean, WhatsApp being a tremendous example you know, Brian Acton talks about what's your job in WhatsApp? And he says, I'm department of stopping stupid ideas, you know, which is basically some guy jumps up and says, oh, why don't we like do telephone calls? And like, no, like, and there's a famous, uh, you know, a book called uh, The Little Prince by a guy with a French name. I, French is a language I don't speak. And uh, he has this thing about design is about taking things away. He said, perfection in design is reached not when you've added everything, but when you've taken things away. And we all think in terms of like the Taj Mahal, like, oh, let's put a little minaret there, another one there, and like, you know, let's put a kind of a fountain in front or something like that, you know? And, and this is where a lot of designers come from. Design is seen in that way, like gardeners or something, where actually really good designers, especially industrial designers, you know, and there was famous 
discussions about Apple, about Steve Jobs said, I want no on switch on my, you know, devices. And, you know, huge debates about that. But that's one of the great things about the app environment, that it forces you to behave yourself and forces you to really, really concentrate on do we actually need that? And how to make the experience as simple as possible. Uh, and it's, um, you know, a whole, pile of a whole pile of stuff can happen in the background on the app that in the web you still have to interact. Which, and that's one of the things that actually makes, makes apps really, really powerful. This, so that's the first thing, which is I, I would always say for you guys, you know, embrace mobile. Say mobile is it. I'm just doing mobile. Web is, you know, is, is kind of nice, but let's do mobile and let's treat it as being sufficiently different. Uh, this is a slide from Benedict Evans, who's a, an analyst in Andreessen Horowitz. And he makes this really essential point about mobile that, uh, firstly, there's the basic numbers, which is, you know, by 2020, there are going to be 5 billion people in the world with these things in their hands. You know, so go with that dynamic. You know, when Amazon.com went public, there was only 320, 340 million people on the web. And a lot of them had dial-up connections and very poor responsiveness. Whereas now we're heading towards a world where 6 billion people are going to have an app. So that's, you know, if you're offered a seat on a rocket ship, get on the rocket ship. Don't, you know, head back towards previous technology. And even... The interesting part, I mean, in, in our house now, basically, uh, you know, we try and have a family meal to try, you know, to try, and then everyone disappears to their own area with their mobile device. And that's not unusual, you know? Whereas if you think back to, you know, usually there was only one computer in the house. So phones are 10 times the opportunity because they're personal, they're taken everywhere, you know, Payment is incorporated, location information. I mean, it's just a night and day in terms of. So again, if you're thinking in terms of PC, you're just thinking of efficiency in transactions. You're not thinking about all of these things that were never there before. What PCs did was they made transactions become efficient, uh, whereas phones just have a whole pile of other stuff. So you have to really concentrate on the design of the phone. And a lot of people, even especially people who were sort of around in the dot-com time, you know, sort of say, oh, it's back again, you know, that crazy valuations and all that. And actually, not only is it back again, it's back again 10 times. You know, it's a much, much bigger, uh, you know, environment. People are getting phones that never got phones before. Uh, they can do a lot more. The requirements, you know, the cloud has made, uh, you know, open access to Wi-Fi. You know, it's just a whole different fantastic opportunity. Um, and just, you know, again, the cost of these things. The, um, the number of sensors, for instance, that are in a phone. I mean, I'm sure you've heard, you know, people comparing space missions to, like, you know, uh, the famous thing is, like, there's 25 times more processing power and what got the Apollo to the moon, you know? Uh, and, you know, the, there's lots of those kind of things. So, so again, that's the thing about getting on a rocket ship, you know, really embracing mobile in terms of, of what it can do. And not just thinking in terms of transaction, not just thinking of how can I, you know, get something and buy something, but, you know, sharing, you know, all of the different kind of things. Mobile is just a, an entirely different way of interacting with the consumer than, than PC ever was.